All right, so now I'm starting the recording. So there is the bald eagle chick in the nest. Um, neither of the parents were on the bare branch today, so I decided to go with the nest instead. And I didn't see the chick in the nest yesterday. So I've noticed a pattern here. So I've noticed that whenever the chick doesn't appear to be in the nest, I mean, he is obviously in the nest. He's just hiding in the nest. Um, either one of the two parents are near. Although there was one time I've seen neither of the parents there, but I've seen the bald eagle there. Apologize for, for this. I'm just trying to stabilize the camera here. Um, yeah, it just never seems to be to my liking. But it is an overcast day, so the quality isn't really that great, okay? But I'm really trying the best that I can, okay? So just bear with me here. So I had work today until 6 again, yeah. I'll always be leaving at 6 o'clock up until July 3rd. Yeah, they're having us work mandatory overtime, which means that we have to work that shift no matter what. Uh-oh. You see how difficult this sometimes is? Yeah, so there's the bald eagle nestling right there. Yep. Very beautiful. So I'm just going to record for 15 minutes. Well, now it's 13 minutes and 14 seconds now. And then I'm going to go home, get some sleep, and go to work at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Yeah. So to tell you the truth, I don't even know if I'm even going to record this for 15 minutes because the the quality isn't so great with it being so overcast out I'm just really surprised how shadowy this looks I've never seen it look like this before but what you gonna do I just have to take whatever footage I can get And as I'm drinking my warm water, my laptop can case, holy crap. My car temperature reading said 99 degrees during my lunch break. Oh yeah, and it wasn't even at the high yet. Oh no. <laughs> it got even hotter a couple hours later. But uh, that's, that's kind of unusual for New Jersey. Like, usually I don't see it get like almost 100 degrees around here. So uh, let me tell you, um, I'm very glad it's not 99 degrees right now. <laughs> it is cooler since it is later in the day. But yeah, um, we've had some very hot summers and today was a pretty hot day I'd say. So this bald eagle is just standing there, not really doing anything, but there is one notable thing. Take a look. He's just a little bit above the nest. So that is called branching. So before they learn how to fly, they learn to jump from branch to branch. So that's why you can see him jumping over the nest, all over the nest, because that's just something that he does, you know? It's an instinctive thing. So this is an optical zoom, okay? And then if I zoom in all the way, um, doesn't really make much of a difference. It just looks more of a shadowy image, okay? But let me zoom out 
That way I can just tilt this up just a little bit further, okay? Just enough so that I can get a close-up of his head. So you can still see it, all right? You can still see part of its head. <laughs> all right, will this do it? Yeah, look at that. Yeah, I mean, it's nothing great. Um, yeah, I mean, the lighting makes a big difference. Hmm. I may have to, like, change the, light, the lighting settings in my camera. Because I do have the exposure on it quite a high level. But I don't really know if that would really make any difference. Sorry for the shakiness here. I'm still trying to tilt this down a little bit. I think I'll go a little bit like that. There we go. So now we can see the entire eagle right there. And here's a train rolling by. One thing that's guaranteed in a recording is you will hear that train comes every 15 minutes. Scratching his head. And he's still standing there. Mm. Shaking his head feathers. More scratching. Hmm? I guess this is getting a little bit more interesting, right?
By the way, um, I should probably tell you where this nest is located. So, we are located at the Towpath Trail in Bordentown, New Jersey. So, if you see my car, it's a silver electric car. And I'm parked at the Riverview Studios parking lot. Riverview Studios is right next to the Bordentown Yacht Club. And there's also train tracks. And the trail is actually adjacent to the train tracks. And it kind of splits out just a little bit once you go into the forest. So once I get into the forest, I'll, go, I'll walk about a mile and a half until I get to this location here. Before I get here, there's two green chairs. Okay, the first green chair is attached by a, a tree stump. You can clearly see the stump. The second one is attached to a stump as well, but it's like a little bit behind the chair. And then you'll see a gray signpost. Once you see the gray signpost, you'll know you're really close. Look to your right. You'll see a bare branch, which the one of the parents is usually on or both. And then you just go a little bit further after that and you'll see an opening that looks like a circle okay there's actually leaves that are literally um, you know they make a cave and the openings like the cave okay it's a caved in opening and then if you look at this green circle you, that's the nest all right that that whole thing is the nest like it's huge like you can just you can really see it not even with a camera. So since we have a minute and 38 seconds, I'll let this play out and then right at the end, I'll show you a zoomed out footage of the nest. And by the way, that was me eating some popcorn. I was eating some caramel popcorn. Yeah, every time I watch these eagles, I'm always eating caramel popcorn. I would certainly offer one of the parents some if they want some. <laughs> but they're off hunting right now. Here comes another train, yep, already. Alright, we only got 25 seconds left. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom out and call it a day, okay? And then maybe tomorrow I'll see the one of the bald eagles on the bare branch, who knows? So let me zoom out so you can see that's the nest right there and then I'm going to zoom out all the way. Alright, until next time, I'll see ya.